Welcome back to our medical education series. Today we will be diving deep into the topic of tuberculosis a disease that has plagued humanity for centuries. Tuberculosis commonly referred to as TB is a highly contagious bacterial infection caused by mycobacterium tuberculosis. In this video, we will explore its clinical features diagnosis treatment prognosis and epidemiology. Welcome to Detangled. If you did not subscribe yet, hit the subscribe button now. Tuberculosis primarily affects the lungs but can also invade other organs such as the kidney spine or brain. It spreads through respiratory droplets when an infected individual coughs, sneezes or talks. Once the bacteria enter the body it can lie dormant for years before becoming active making it a particularly challenging disease to control. Tuberculosis is a significant global health concern. According to the World Health Organization, it is estimated that around 10 million people developed tuberculosis in 2019, with 1.4 million losing their lives to the disease. It remains one of the top 10 causes of death worldwide and is particularly prevalent in low- and middle-income countries. The clinical presentation of tuberculosis can vary widely from person to person. Common symptoms include a persistent cough that lasts for more than three weeks, coughing up blood, chest pain, fatigue, weight loss, night sweats and fever. In severe cases, if left untreated it can lead to extensive lung damage respiratory failure, and even death. Diagnosing tuberculosis requires a combination of clinical evaluation imaging studies laboratory tests and microbiological confirmation. The first step is to conduct a thorough medical history and physical examination to assess the symptoms and any risk factors. As part of the diagnostic process healthcare professionals often order a chest x-ray to identify abnormalities in the lungs, such as the presence of nodules or cavities. Additionally, a sputum sample may be collected and examined for the presence of mycobacterium tuberculosis using various laboratory techniques including acid fast, staining and culture tests. Host, treatment for tuberculosis involves a multi-drug therapy regimen that typically lasts for six to nine months. The standard first-line drugs used include isoniazid rifampicin pyrazinamide and ethambutol. Adherence to the treatment schedule is crucial to prevent the development of drug resistance. Depending on the severity of the disease and the presence of resistant second-line drugs may be prescribed. Directly observed therapy is a recommended approach to ensure patients take their medications as prescribed. When diagnosed early and treated adequately most cases of tuberculosis can be cured. However, if left untreated or improperly managed tuberculosis can become chronic and lead to long-term complications. In some cases, drug-resistant strains of tuberculosis may emerge posing additional challenges in treatment and control efforts. In conclusion, tuberculosis continues to be a major public health issue that requires ongoing efforts for prevention diagnosis and treatment. Early detection proper medication adherence and infection control measures are essential in reducing the burden of this disease. That's it for today's video on tuberculosis. We hope you found this information valuable in understanding the clinical features diagnosis treatment prognosis and epidemiology of this disease. If you have any questions or comments please leave them down below and we'll be happy to respond. Remember, knowledge is key to combating tuberculosis and ensuring the health and well-being of individuals and communities. Subscribe to this channel for more content.